Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to the very first spring vlog of 2023. Now, I know it's been a while since I've posted a vlog. I've been all about the collages lately, but things are starting to finally warm up, and I think they're going to stay that way. Like, today has been in the 70s, and we never had a really true winter. It was cold, like really cold, for maybe like two or three days before Christmas. And we had a few really cold days here and there, but usually it's like the end of October, it gets really cold, stays that way until about, you know, April, May. Um, and then it's kind of like, you know, maybe a gradual warm heat, but no, this is like all of a sudden 80s, 70s, and it's, it's kind of crazy. But we never had a true winter, I would say. We didn't really have any snow that I can remember. No, I guess we got lucky. <laughs> Here's little Tilly again, chilling by the window. It's always the warmest spot over here by the window. Now I'm switching over all of my St. Patrick's Day decorations and turning it into spring slash Easter. So let me show you what I had all around the apartment for St. Patty's Day. I had this nice little green with gold garland hung up. That was great. And over here by the kitchen table, I have a bunch of clovers. All this garland I got from Michael's and Timothy helped me put this up. So that was quite nice. And here is the St. Patrick's Day aftermath. Now I had everything set up on the table as you see it, sort of, with the exception of these coins and all this crazy little paper, which I had inside of some treat buckets that I made for everyone for St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was gonna be a little fun thing to do. And I also made some little green gummy bears that were flavored like cotton candy. The texture of them was great. I found this mix and flavorings to put in them and the dye all at Hobby Lobby and the little molds for the gummy bears. So that was pretty cool. And this little leprechaun, if I remember correctly, I think I got him at Hobby Lobby last year. And I had these little foam clovers that I added to the buckets. And this little gnome that I got at Hobby Lobby this year. I think I had these clovers since last year. And I want to say I got them at um, Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. Can't quite remember. And then my favorite little leprechaun that I got from the antique store, I think two years ago. But yeah, I got it from the antique store and I love them. And then I also have another little clover and another little gnome. And I love this one because he had a little kissy mark on his nose. So cute. And also in the little treat buckets, I included two pom-poms that made these cute little crafts. I always love doing those little crafts for all the different holidays. And this is the wreath I had up for St. Patty's Day. So yeah, that is it for all of the St. Patrick's Day decorations we had around the apartment. So fun. So now I'm going to be putting them away <laughs> and then setting up for spring slash Easter. You know, and it was great too because my sister Madison, her husband Xander came up for my sister's birthday to celebrate it with my parents and the rest of us siblings. And then they came and, and stayed at our apartment and on St. Patrick's Day, we had all the stuff set out on the table. So that was real fun. And then we had them around for dinner. So that was a really special experience getting to be with everyone for St. Patrick's Day and just chilling, having fun and it's always great to have them over. What are you doing? You sniffing out all the groceries? And this is that new doormat I got just in time for Easter. And I just got this cute little bunny bum. <laughs> it's so cute. This little hanging sign for Easter time. Guys, I had an epiphany and I will show you in this video I uploaded to TikTok. It's not that Bigfoot isn't real. It's that he's hiding up in the trees. Ever since that one day, he was caught on camera, walking. I don't think he's ever wanted to be caught again, walking on foot. Now I do declare that Bigfoot is real. Like I said, he's just hiding in the trees. <laughs> just look. All right, now all my spring slash Easter decorations have been put out and all of my St. Patrick's Day ones have been put away. 
Now these little bunnies here I got last year from Hobby Lobby. And then this sign I got today from Hobby Lobby. Look at it, it's so cute. And I just love these little bunnies. And then this is something I got from one of the antique stores, a little craft that someone made. I thought that was cute. I also got this at Hobby Lobby today. I thought this was so cute with the little bunny booty sticking out of the truck. And then I also got these little bunnies from Hobby Lobby. I just love how their little eyes look. Oh, so cute. And then at our kitchen table, I found the cutest little tablecloth at uh, Hobby Lobby. I was like, this is so cute. I love the design of this one. And then I got all these decorations here. I found these, I believe I found these last year at Hobby Lobby. They look like vintage flocked um, little duckies, which are so cute. And I love all these little, little birds with bunny ears that I think, if I remember correctly, I got those at Hobby Lobby last year. Either that or Michael's, but yeah. They're so cute. And I have another little chick here. And then this I got today at Hobby Lobby. And it's a little radio and it plays one song. Just look at the angle on this little ducky. <laughs> and I also have this little empty tomb decoration that I found. And it has a little light on the bottom here. Switch it on here. How neat is that? So neat. And then I have this little, um, I guess it's like a serving tray dish sort of deal. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it. I could put some like little, like, you know that fake grass, that little plastic stuff that smells nice, and then put in some jelly beans or something as we get closer to Easter, um, which is actually in the next like two weeks. But uh, yeah, so I found these little eggs at Michael's the other day. And then this whole little, like I said, serving dish tray thing with the little bunny hanging off the side, which I thought was so adorable. Let me tell you the story about this thing, okay? This was back in 2020 where things had like kind of shut down for a little bit there, all the craft stores and stuff. And then Joanne Fabrics opened back up and was selling a ton of fabric for all those masks. Well, I went in to go buy some fabric to make some masks. And then as I was checking out, the lady said, hey, look, you see all that Easter stuff? Go pick out something for free with your purchase. I was like, what? So yeah, I got this whole thing for free and they usually sell it for like 50 bucks. So it's kind of crazy. So yeah, I got to walk out with this free cute little bunny hanging out of this thing. Oh, I loved it. It was so cool. It was definitely the highlight of my day of that day. But yeah, this little radio is so cute. But like I was saying, this little center thing here lights up, which I think that little photo is just so cute. But yeah, it plays that one song. And then over here, this is another little thing that I found at an antique store. But I have it right next to my favorite troll. And then this, I got a Hobby Lobby today. I thought it was so cute. It looks like a little vintage, I don't know what it would have been exactly, but it's a little thing I'm hanging from our little shelf here. And then over here, I got this little, little chick hatching out of an egg. It's so cute. So I think it's a lot like those little birds that you find for every holiday, but yeah. Oh, it's so wonderful. And I also got this today, this cute little Easter towel. It's the perfect texture to have in your kitchen. It's, it's awesome. And then over here on my kitchen counter, just like those little birdies that I have, I put up all of these really cute little Easter bunnies. They're all holding something different. Like this one has eggs and a little butterfly. This one has some carrots and a little ladybug. Has a cute little dress on. This one, a bunch of carrots and what looks like a little snail. <laughs> 
And then this one has a basket of maybe random veggies and then a butterfly as well. But yeah, they're so cute and I love hanging things or having things sitting on the counter and having like the little feet and stuff dangle off of it. And here I have this Happy Easter scented candle. It's a tutti frutti scented candle. And just look at the top of this. That's just so cute. But the scent of this candle, I already started burning it and I'm almost done with it already. But um, yeah, I got this one on sale at Bath and Body Works, which was pretty awesome, but it smells so good. And I think the outside of this is just so adorable. So even if I burn all the way through this, probably before Easter, I'll either buy another candle, I probably will, but I'll probably continue using this container and just make my own candles to put on the inside. And then this, I don't know if you guys remember me making this little teacup craft, but yeah, this was that one that I made all those years ago. And I put, you know, this little, I can't remember what they called it, but yeah, I just put a bunch of this little stuff in there. I didn't even use glue on any of these eggs or anything. Um, but they pretty much, when I put them in the box, have pretty much stayed. I think one of them fell out. But yeah, like I was saying when I made this, you guys can always um, glue down the eggs and everything. I just never did. And then I got this little tiny plate today at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was so cute because of the way the little bunny ears are and that little phrase is cute too but what I did was because I didn't already have a little saucer that went with this teacup I just put it right there and then if you go on the other side you can see the little bunny ears and over here by the sink I have my honey pot that was a part of my costume from last year uh, we just have it sitting over here on the counter and then of course, this little piece of art. And then, oh my tiny little bunnies. I bought these last year and I found them in my uh, Easter decoration box. And they're all just chilling here. Next to another plate that I found at Hobby Lobby. It says, hello spring, has a little bunny on it. And then right next to that is this jelly belly container that I've had for a few months now has all the little jelly bellies in it. And the cool thing is, it has a scoop right next to it that you can, actually you gotta lift this little thing to put the scoop back. But yeah, I think it's so cool that it has its own little scoop and its own little compartment there. And you can just keep filling it with jelly bellies and have it sitting out all year long. And maybe once Easter is all over, I might be able to find some more jelly bellies on sale to refill my jelly belly container and on the counter here i also have this little plate that i believe that i got from my mother last year for uh easter if i remember correctly but yeah it's a cute one too and while i was at hobby lobby in the easter section they had this little deviled egg like uh filling dispenser but look at this Look how awesome this is. And I was like, you know, I'll just stick to, you know, my bag method that I do, but how cool is this? <laughs> like, I can just like, look at this. And you can mix everything all in the container. So you don't need, you know, the bowl, the spoon, the everything. It's just all here. I just thought that was so cool. So I was like, you know what? And look, it makes this fancy little, you know, swirl design on the eggs. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm definitely gonna get this because it's so cool. So yeah, got this at Hobby Lobby as well. This thing was 40% off along with all their other Easter decorations. But yeah, that is it for all those decorations. And if I happen to find more out there in the world, perhaps I'll put them up and show you guys. But yeah, that's it that I have for all those decorations. So now I think I'm gonna make another collage. Um, I have the time to, so why not, right? So yeah, I think I'll make another decade challenge collage. I just uploaded one, I believe it was a couple of days ago, and that one was the 1950s decade, or not 1950s, 1960s decade collage challenge video. So now I'm on to the 1970s, then I have the 80s, and maybe I'm gonna do the 90s. I don't have too many magazines for the 90s, but I might be able to come up with something. So if I do the 90s one, that one will be a real challenge. So we shall see. And check out what else I found at Hobby Lobby. 
some bubbles that are peep scented and I wonder if they're peep flavored as well. I don't know. Huh. But they are no dye and non-toxic. So that's pretty cool. All right, now I'm done with my most recent collage and I have all of these papers and supplies to put away. I would show you the collage, but it shall remain a surprise until I get the video edited and uploaded. And then all I'll have next is the 1980s and maybe the 1990s because I only have one Life magazine from the 1990s, so we shall see. Now I can't quite remember if I've already told you guys about my new Etsy shop, but finding the name for it was a bit of a challenge because a lot of the names I was coming up with weren't quite creative enough and they were already out there as a shop name. So I recruited the help of my father to give me some inspiration for my new shop name and I came up with Whimsy Dandy. And I wanted something sort of creative, fun. Um, I was thinking of Figment the Dragon, so I really love that mask got from Epcot and so I was like I want something fun and magical and creative you know um, because that's what I want to bring to people in my little creations and so I came up with Whimsy Dandy and the little slogan or tagline that I came up with was all you need is a bit of whimsy to feel all dandy so yeah so, and then I went to Canva and came up with the logo for the shop and here it is now here's the picture of it I just gotta get some business cards and some uh, some stickers to stick on my boxes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I have that shop open now. I just have to make sure all the details are in place and double check all that for you guys. Um, but yeah, so, oh, that was so fun. And I'm glad I have this new Etsy shop open and I'm posting all this new stuff. But let me show you what I made for my very first Etsy shop listing. And here it is. This was my very first new Etsy shop listing. I took and I sculpted with all these fun colors, a tentacle, and then put it in this miniature terracotta pot with some crafting moss. And then I found this really cool bottle at the craft store. I was like, man, this would be really neat for someone to take a little piece of paper, write I love you on it and stick it in the bottle or anything, you know, anything really like hello or something. But I just thought this would be a neat decoration for someone to have or for someone to give away as a gift. So it's still out there on my Etsy page for right now. So check the date of this video if you're just now seeing it. But yeah, so I will put the link to my new Etsy shop in the description area of this video if you guys would like to check it out. Now, I don't have these listed in my Etsy shop yet, but I have had a lot of fun making these while I'm watching like TV shows and stuff, but they're just a bunch of mushroom pendants. And I've been experimenting with different shapes, sizes, lengths, different color combinations. It's been a lot of fun to come up with those color combinations. And I even thought to myself, how cool would it be to take like a um, unicorn horn and put it under the cap of a mushroom? And then I was thinking, okay, should I make it kind of raised and not all the colors like together? Or should I make it with the colors together? So I've just kind of been experimenting with all these different mushrooms and stuff and they're really cool looking. And um, I even have one hanging in my car where the mirror is and I, I love looking at it. It's such a neat, unique piece of art and I'm selling them when I do list them as necklaces or just the pendants alone. And the thing I like about these little necklace pieces, um, they are a bit short and I haven't found any that are longer than uh, the Silkies brand. But the thing I love about these is that if I were to sell them as a necklace, then they would be guaranteed not to break because they're made of silicone and they pop off real easily. So just in case the necklace gets stuck on something, that's a nice little guarantee. But uh, if I can find some longer, that would be awesome. But yeah, so I was making all these different shapes and stuff and color combinations. And um, this one here, I'm thinking about putting some um, craft moss on it to kind of complete the look because this one is sort of like um, stone, like uh, kind of like what 
gargoyles are made of that kind of look there so yeah but <laughs> i've had so much fun making these but let me show you the cool thing about how this necklace works here to so take it off see that makes like a little pop sound and then you can just stick it back on there and it's awesome so yeah i love these little like i think the brand is called silkies but they're little uh silicone kind of stretchy material it's awesome so if i can find some that are the same design where it, you know pops off like that then i would love love to have some longer ones but let me show you what one of these looks like on me so you can understand kind of like the length of what like the 16 inches looks like here it is and it is a little more like a choker so it does sit pretty high and like i was saying if i could find some longer necklace pieces that'd be nice but if not everyone's interested in something this short they could buy it as just a little pendant and then find a nice little necklace to put it on of their choice but yeah look at this <laughs> i just love it it's it's so cool so but like i said i have one hanging by my rear view mirror and i just love the way it looks and then on the bottom side of these little mushroom caps i've given them that you know traditional natural mushroom kind of texture on the bottom with all the different uh lines and stuff but yeah it's been fun to make these for sure and if you guys are interested in them and the listing isn't up yet, feel free to send me a message or a comment and um, yeah, but I'll have the uh, Etsy shop link in my description for this video. But what I'm doing now is I'm actually replacing the jump rings on these because I don't know if you can see it, but the jump rings are really small. so. If someone wanted to buy this as a necklace, they couldn't get it past this point if they ever wanted to switch out the necklace part of it. So yeah, I'm uh, switching out the jump rings to some wider ones. So that way if people wanna switch out the, um, the pendant for a different necklace, then they can do that. Um, because I've done it before with necklaces. I've bought various places like gift shops and stuff, but yeah. Oh, I love them so much. They're so cool. But the link to my new Etsy shop is in the description area of this video. And I also have a Instagram page with only one photo in it so far um, for all the different listings and different things I'm going to be making to sell inside of that shop. So feel free to follow me on Etsy and then follow me on Instagram. And if there's anything that you would like sculpted, any ideas of things, feel free to let me know. Well, hello there, friends. And you're probably wondering to yourself, why is she creating another sort of intro in this one video? Well, when I was filming the first part of this vlog, I fell asleep, a deep sleep. I had taken a nap, and then when I woke up, I was wondering to myself, what year is it? <laughs> so yeah, now I'm here, I'm back, it's me from the future, a few days later after filming this first portion. And so, I shall be continuing this vlog. So let's get back to it. Hitler, you want to play with some bubbles? So yeah, remember these bubbles? Well, of course you remember because it was just a minute or so ago. But I will show you how much she loves these bubbles. It's pretty much any bubbles, she loves them. So we shall play. Another thing is I was smelling these bubbles and aside from the yellow wand that's in there, I'm not too sure why they're peeps bubbles unless you're just trying to advertise the cool wrapping on the outside and I'm too afraid to taste them no I'm not gonna do it but anyways Tilly loves bubbles too much not to taste them so even if they're a big cluster of bubbles she like eats them and it's no big deal why are you shaky buddy it's because you want the bubbles you want the bubbles she's so excited for the bubbles all right now you're set up on the sound bar by my tv <laughs> Well, I think if I do any further vlogging from this point on, it might just turn into a new vlog. So if I do, I do. If I don't, then I don't. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it had been a while, but I'm back. And there shall be some more collage videos and some more um, 
vlogs. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I truly enjoyed making it and I hope you stay tuned for more. Bye!